Well, I got back at her, guys. I gave her heck. I got a coat of primer on it there. A couple coats of primer. High build, whatever they call it. 2K. I don't know. It's black primer. But I think I got the curve straightened out pretty good. I gotta... I gotta let that go for now. I think I'm okay with it just the way it is. When it comes time to paint, I will scuff it down, let that primer set up good, and I'll scuff it down, and if there's any little nips here and there, I will uh, fix them up then. See one right there. That's where the primer comes in handy when you... You can see your mistakes a little better, I think. I like to prime in between. Yeah, I'm gonna need a little spot putty in there. Alrighty guys, anyways, I will keep going. See if we can get that one in the same condition this weekend. Then we can move on to the cab. Because then what I gotta do with the cab, I got the doors, the fenders, the hood are done. I need to work on the roof and the back uh, cab corners. And then that will be ready to shoot. There's a lot of work to do on the roof though. So we're looking at February. I'm looking at the end of March, counting on the uh, the weather to break by then to give me enough temperature to start doing some real painting. I'll bring you back later. Hey guys, we're back. I just want to show you something. I'm, I'm getting away at this fender here, but uh, I got to take it off the bedside here in a second to get the top half. And before I do that, I wanted to address a little bit of the Taiwan part situation. This was a tie Taiwan panel. Uh, very happy with it. Uh, bolts are threaded in, welded good, all the spot welds are in nice spots. Um, when I got this truck I didn't have the steps. I managed to uh, find a used step, which was actually in pretty good shape. I mean it had some holes drilled in it. I guess I gotta do more to them. I forgot about those. I welded them up but I need to grind them down. And it was a little crunched here in the edge and I just, you know, I hammered it out. I haven't put any filler in it yet. But this is a brand new step, 30 bucks I think it was, something like that. I mean it's not like it was huge money, but it was a Taiwan part. And I looked at it and I thought, this is great. Well right off the top, when you put it on, I, I know you can't look at both sides of the truck at the same time, but if you look at that curve and that one, there's a section here of this, it's just flared right out. It should be tucked in a little tighter. So to fix that I've got to cut that. And fold that in. And it's just a little bit, you know, it's not very sharp. I don't know if I can get that sharpness in it or not. But the biggest pet peeve of mine was when I went to bolt it on. And this is where it sits, basically. Oh, don't know. Hang on a second here. I would have to uh, recommend, uh, say thank you to your camera people. Anybody who doesn't do this by themselves, who has someone else holding the camera, tell them thanks. Because this is the kind of stuff you can't do without them. So this sits right in here on the fender, okay? Picture it sitting on the truck like this. Basically my issue is right down here in this corner, see the gap there? It's sitting flush. That's got to be curved up to meet that. So the solution once again, I've got to cut here and then bend it to line up. I mean the stamping's good. Uh, other than the, you know, I really don't care for it. It just seems kind of like uh, spongy. I don't know what you want to call it. It doesn't have as very sharp lines along here. The body line's not as sharp as it could be. And I think, you know, I know you can block it out to get a sharper line and all that. And I probably will someday when she goes gloss black or something. But for now, I just want the panel, panels to meet and bolt together so I can paint this separately. Then when I go to put it back together, I don't have to bend and pry and so anyways I will show you what I do here in a second okay that's better not a big fix not that hard to do I got a few bolts in it there now tighten that up a little better basically what I had to do was give it a few slices here and there so that it would curve around that a little better and now I'll straighten them out while it's on there I think I will tack them there while it's on the fender and that should hold it in place I believe I will know in a few minutes if I'm wrong all right guys Ugh. right back okay welded her up 
ground it down a little bit. Original aftermarket. We got her there now. That will do wonderful for me. And that's what I did. See ya. Alright guys, Saturday has turned into Sunday. We managed to get that beast under a coat of black. Some seriously thick primer. I uh, imagine I'll be doing a lot of sanding after that. Should come out like orange peel there. Like spray on Bondo. I don't know. But anyways, uh, the other fender seemed to, seemed to level out pretty good the longer I let it dry. It looks like it's easy to sand this stuff too. So a little bit of texture won't bother me. But I think I got that one pretty good. She's still got a little sheen to her there, so it's easy to see right now for you guys. But uh, that's it then. We got the uh, box sides are done. Fenders are done. Front half, uh, I haven't touched tailgate yet, but that shouldn't be that big a deal. I'm not gonna do much to that. So the back end of the truck is in final primer, I guess. I'll have to block it out once more and then uh, before I shoot it and seal anything when I get to that level. And for my next trick, I'm gonna level out that divot. We all remember that one. I will get back into it, I promise you. We're gonna work on the back of that cab. Straighten out a little bit around the window maybe. I'm not gonna get too carried away there. Smooth it out, doesn't have to be uh, dead straight. But uh, we got the cab corners left and uh, that's it guys. So I will upload this. Let you guys uh, take a look. Something to watch on a Sunday afternoon. And hey, we got a bonus day uh, for us here in Ontario. Tomorrow's family day. And wow, I spent enough time with my family. I'm going to spend it with you guys. We're going to get back out here, and I think I'm going to tackle that. If I can find a place to put all this stuff where it's not going to get tripped over. But for now, we'll do family day today. We'll have some dinner, have grandma over, and just watch paint dry. We shall see you later, guys. Have a good rest of your weekend. Stay out of trouble. See you tomorrow if we get something going here.